We recently stayed at Babcock State Park in West Virginia while we were visiting New River Gorge National Park. This campground has electric and non-electric sites and we were here the last week of April. I chose a electric site for us, which we normally don't do because I thought it was gonna be a little chilly. Well, the first day we arrived, it was 92 degrees. So it was a little unnecessary. As you can see, it's a loop and there are some sites in the center of the loop and in the outer part of the loop. If you're looking for a little more privacy, I recommend the outer loop. And I'd also say the best site in this loop is site 30. We were in 28, but 30 was in the corner of the loop and I feel like you had like your own little corner to yourself. Here is the inside of the women's bathhouse. They have like a little changing table there, two sinks, now they don't have paper towels so you have to use the air dryer. They have plenty of bathroom stalls and they had three shower stalls, one being handicapped. Now if you follow my videos, you know that this is very important to me and it's this, hooks. These hooks are so important. It seems ridiculous but if you have all of your shower bags and you don't have any place to hang them or put them down, they even had a bench you guys. <laughs> this was incredible. So much storage so your stuff doesn't get wet. So thank you so much for doing this. And they were free showers. You don't need any tokens or coins to operate them. Now you do need coins if you wanna do laundry. They have two washers and two dryers. So don't forget those if you intend to do laundry. They had a really nice playground and there were plenty of benches if you wanted to go over with your kids and have them play. And right next to that is the non-electric loop. Same situation over here. Um, if you want a little more privacy, you might want to get a site on the outer loop, not the inner loop. And we tried actually to switch our site to this site 19 coming up because it's seriously the nicest site we've ever seen. It was massive. It like cut into the woods and you had like total privacy. So if you're going to camp here, go for this site. It was incredible. They also have a place where you can wash dishes and this was kind of as you were leaving, you'd see it like near the ranger station. Now, it's not just for camping, you guys. They had so much stuff here and we didn't realize it till the last day. There's like an old grist mill and they actually allow you to like fly your drone around between certain times. You can even kayak there. It was really neat. I'm so sad we only had like half a day to explore the rest of this park. They had a really, really nice camp store. And at the bottom of the store, like if you, there are steps inside you can go down or you can go on the outside to the left and use the steps. They had like a Wi-Fi area. So if you're staying there, you can go in and get a password to hook up to the Wi-Fi, which was really nice. And believe it or not, they'll let you swim here. There's actually steps at the bottom of the steps here that leads you into the water just as kind of swim at your own risk and just know there's a couple waterfalls there so you want to be careful but how cool is that i feel like most places would discourage that they also had plenty of cabins you could rent now these cabins were super cool because you had a view of the water it's hard to see with all the trees but it was awesome you do have to deal with all the steps but they do have other cabins if you can't handle the steps as you can see cabin options. Look how adorable these cabins are. They're a little smaller than the previous cabins, but we noticed a sign by the door on all of these smaller cabins and it let you know if the cabin was pet friendly or not. So if you're looking at bringing your pet to one of these, I would definitely check that out online before you book because it looks like some are and some are not. But super adorable. I would definitely want to stay in one of these cabins. As you're driving by all of these cabins, you're going to notice there is a larger cabin and that is available for rent. It is not pet friendly though. They actually had like a huge sign saying, do not bring animals in this house. So just so you're aware, no pets in the large cabin that you can rent. But there's a scenic overview. There are two stops. So you're going to go by the cabins. You're going to see a sign that says scenic overview, follow it. Uh, the first stop we stopped and had a snack. But keep going, get to the second stop. It's really cool. Not only is there a scenic overview at the top, there's tennis courts, volleyball courts, basketball courts. There's a picnic area with a playground, restrooms, and plenty of trash cans. I really wish we had more time to explore this place while we were staying there because I feel like we really missed out on a lot. 
There were tons of mountain bike trails and Josh is determined to get back there with his bike. There was also really nice hiking trails. So this is a cool park. You could stay here and literally not have to leave and have so many activities. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.